so hello everyone welcome to today's topic so today we are going to discuss about credit memo and subsequent credit memo so what is the difference between both of the terms these are basic key concept you need to understand before going to an interview so might be you get a question on this concept right so first let's understand what is a credit memo so basically credit memo is uh, let's say type of document your vendor can send to you that uh, let's say you have sent some of the material back to the vendor okay you have received let's say 100 quantity of material let's say from that uh, there are 20 quantity are damaged so you have reversed that quantity or you have sent that uh, material to the vendor now your vendor will send you a credit memo that this is a 20 for amount 20 uh, for uh, quantity 20 we are sending you a credit memo for that in later phase they can send a material right so that is a let's say um, they they have uh, let's say uh, they have sent an invoice of 100 quantity but uh, you are only receiving 80 quantity 20 quantity are damaged so in that case let's say you have paid the 100 quantities to them so now they will be providing you a credit memo that 20 20 item are left they will be sending you back in some time okay so this is a credit memo so in the credit memo both the price so whenever you are entering a credit memo both the price and your uh, let's say amount both of the things will be will be reducing right so both of the things will be reducing let's say you are sending um, let's say uh, you are sending the material means you are reversing the material also and the price also both of the things you are reversing so credit memo in credit memo basically price and quantity both of the things will be reduced and what is the subsequent credit memo let's say um, let's say uh, your vendor has sent let's say you are uh, you have given a PO okay in the PO you have mentioned there is a uh, let's say um, material price was 10 rupees per piece or total quantity value was 100 rupees okay so let's say your vendor has given you an invoice of let's say 120 rupees okay in that case it is a higher amount than your PO quantity now let's say you want to uh, let's say reduce the quantity to re uh, sorry reduce this price to from 120 to 100 right so there will be one subsequent credit memo will be generating with a reducing price okay but not with the quantity quantity will remain the same but you are just reducing the price there right so in this case we call it as a subsequent credit memo in subsequent credit memo it will be like it will be price will be reducing but the quantity will be staying same in the credit memo both price and quantity will be reducing so this is basically the difference between credit memo and subsequent credit memo one more difference you can say like credit memo can be given from the vendor or vendor can give you a credit memo and subsequent credit memo will be will be created by the business or by the company it can be provided from the company to the vendor and credit memo can be provided from the vendor to the company right so this is basically the difference between credit memo and subsequent credit memo i believe this concept is clear to you now right so that is that's it for today we will meet up again on tomorrow with some more topics till then bye bye and take care